So today I'm fitting a second-hand Kiravan's twin sliding twisting seat unit. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you're going to need a few tools, things like a 17mm spanner or and a 19mm spanner, uh, a, a thin bladed screwdriver, 22mm spanner, uh, and that's about it really. What I've already done is I've already prepped, so you're, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. Um, you've got eight bolts, which you can see four here, and there's four holes here, because what I've done is I've removed the bolts, and because the as the swivel moves, it hits on the top of the bolt, you have to remove literally just until the thread. So I took that off cut it off with a hacksaw or an angle grinder, fettled the edge and ready to go back in. I'm just going to put those four back in, then I'm going to put this, the Kiravans back on, and it's as simple as that. The reason I need, said you need a screwdriver is the wiring that normally comes through here uh, is held on by this. I've removed it and I've pushed it under there. So you need a little screwdriver to push each one of the tabs backwards and forwards to pull them apart. And you just literally pull each one apart, take it the other side, click it back together and put it back under here. Make it all neat and tidy, make sure it's all flat and nothing's protruded because it will just get in the way when you um, fit, fit it back in. So next job really is refitting everything and because i love copper slip i'm just going to make sure that everything's um, going back in the way it came out and if i need to remove it in the future i can do this is a 22 mil spanner that you use to tighten these up with or remove them um, there are also some spaces on these there's on that one there and that one there which will go underneath the plastic. So just fit these back in. I know everybody's seen this video a thousand and one times, but I may, I'm showing you this because there's information that I just didn't find when I was looking. And the, the more you look and the more you get frustrated by it and you, you just end up all over the place. So for a couple of minutes for me to do this for you might just help somebody else out Put these little grommets back over the top of those they're the spacers that basically enable you to get the, the height right one there and one there simple really wasn't it put the trim back under and we are ready to fit the base so up and on I've already undone it so that I can get access to the bolts. This is where I find out whether I've ground them well enough. So far so good. So the original base was held in with 16 mil nuts, which I'm replacing on the base and the Kiravens um, has come with 17mm nuts which I will attach the base to. Thankfully they've made this lovely little cutout so that I can get to the bolts. That was nice of them, wasn't it? If only everything in life was as easy as that.
And there you go, that is one base fitted. Admittedly, I haven't tightened it up, um, which I'm gonna do in a minute, but you don't really need to see that. I know you all know how to tighten these up properly. So hopefully that'll help you out somewhat.